Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 22, I believe, of Let's Play Nox Archaeist. It is day three of our Nox three day adventure. And, uh, yeah, it's going on nighttime. I didn't get to play a ton of episodes today, but pretty happy that we're up to episode 22 after starting at 10. That's pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and get into it and uh, see what kind of progress we can make. We're here in Bayport. Um, for some reason, our icon changed again. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's uh, explore a bit. Okay, we have food. We got Blade, the new party member, Blade. Um, I don't think there's anything magical we really want. We already have Fireball plus one. Hmm. We can get some stuff here. Some unless they're undead. Welcome to Marketplace Magic. May I interest you in a toad, toad snort potion? Um, yeah, we can actually get some of this stuff. Um... Mage Cloak plus three. I'm going to have 26 intelligence, but I'm wearing... Uh, if we go to the cell page, I'm wearing... Uh, I think the... Um, Brigandine Vest, which is... 18. But if we look at the... Uh, the weight, though, the Mage Cloak is only one pound. Which is pretty nice. So we can return when uh, necessary. Don't need a magic staff. Mage armor. The spell. We'll go ahead and buy that. We'll go ahead and buy boulder storm. Go ahead and buy boulder smite. And summon lesser undead. Okay. What we do with those. I'm not sure. Uh, let me just out my smoke here. Let's see. Five. We've got mage armor. It says return readies them, but it asks for a slot. So are we up to seven? No, eight. Okay, lesser heals one. Magic missile um, only does 17 damage. We'll unready magic missile. Illuminate. We just have a ton of torches. We don't really need illuminate. Uh, fire arrow does 34. Um, could maybe keep it on there. Let's get one heal, uh, two mage armor. Let's ready that as slot two. Boulder storm, area of effect, 26 spell damage. Um, not the greatest spell damage, but we can go ahead and test that out. And uh, boulder smite. 47 damage. Okay, we can make boulder 3 and 4. So let's go 3, 4, and then leave the rest as is. Fireball is 5. Um, fire arrow could be not, um, 8 instead of engage enemy. And then engage enemy could be 9. We also have 0 if we want to do something else, but that looks good. Oh, if someone less are undead, we'll make zero. Okay, so that's all the spells we can have readied. That's pretty cool. Um, let's continue exploring, I guess. And uh, it's 5 19 p.m. Let's see who this is. No response. Okay, these two aren't going to give a response. No response. Okay. Um, the, the Thief Club trains. We're now in Docks and Warehouse District. Whoops. We'll come down here. Bunch of people. Human villager. You see a man drinking a glass of ale. Name? My name is Pharos, the black sheep. Job? I'm hired by adventuring parties for my eyes. Eyes? The depths of Vacus are full of treasure, but the underworld races have built many secret doors over the years to keep us out. Races? The orcs, kobolds, and gnomes. They greedily hoard all the wealth they can get their hands on. Secret. 
They make the doors look almost identical to the cavern wall. Some are harder to spot than others. Yeah, see, that's what I've got to look for. Um, uh, thieves? I don't know anything about that. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, we have to figure that out. Here we've got a merchant. I'm off duty. Here we've got a warrior. You see a, ma a woman with a sword at her side? Name? My name is Asatan. John? I'm a sellsword. Merchant caravans hire me for protection. There's a lot of demand these days. Protection? I have to keep my skills sharp. There are some high-ranking members of the Thieves Guild down by the docks at night who I train with. Ooh, nice. Guild? I don't agree with everything the Guild does, but their skill with a blade is legendary. Huh. Didn't know that. Docks? Be careful if you go down there. The guild doesn't like people nosing around. Goodbye. That's pretty interesting. Their skill with a blade is legendary. Human villager? You see a sturdy looking man? Name? My name is Mason. Job? I'm a dock worker. Here in Bayport, we receive goods from all over Valley. Dock? It's steady work, but it's too bad the docks are so dangerous at night. Dangerous? The Thieves' Guild runs a smuggling operation. Their enforcers are down by the docks at night to keep away unwanted eyes. Guild? Their guild house is in the Red Torch District. That place is like a fortress. Really? Fortress? The only way in, in is past the Watcher. He only admits those who know the password. Password? I don't know anything about that. Receive? Our ships normally carry goods... Far as Dragonsmere and Helm's Reach. Normally? We haven't received any shipments in a long time. Something is wrong. Um. Cool. Goodbye. And who is this? We see Dr. Cat. You see an elegant looking cat standing upright wearing a pointy hat. He looks very familiar. Name? I am known as Dr. Cat. Job? I'm a traveler, but right now I'm helping out here at the Cloak and Dagger pub until they find somebody permanent. Sorry, I can't do the purrs. Um, traveler? I have seen many worlds. Valley is perfect from what I've seen of it so far. Worlds? Speaking of which, an old friend would like to say hello. Friend? Look for an unk in the forest north of Nairwood. Right, we know that. We saw that a few episodes again. You're helping. Would you like to buy a drink? If you're a gambler, the Ugly Minotaur pub usually has a card game going on. Buy. What would you like? Round for the house. Huzzah, thanks. Um, join. I might know something about that. Cutter is pretty handy with a blade and of good character, unlike most in this town. She, she is usually down by the docks. So another one, Cutter. Train for five gold. If you want training in the shadow arts, you're in the right town. Several shadow lurkers hang out by the docks at night. But be careful, they don't like people nosing around in their business. Colt? Oh. We haven't seen much of them in Bayport. I've heard rumors of activity near Everton, though. Check with Irene in the pub. Children? Haven't heard anything about children. Maybe they have over at the Pretty Kitty. Um. Okay, thank you. Live in your hopes, not in your fears. Good advice from Dr. Cat. I have some coffee here, by the way. I'm going to be sipping on it. Okay, we've got another type of merchant. You see a short-haired woman with a parrot on her shoulder and several tattoos. Name? My name is Stella. Job? I work with Raymond selling ships. We make the best ships and cannons in Valley, but not everyone can afford them. May I offer you some advice before you set sail? Uh, ships? We sell skiffs, caravels, and frigates. Skiffs? Excellent for exploring coastlines and rivers, but stay out of rough seas or you'll get swamped. Caravels? You could cross the Sidereian Sea. 
to the north of here in a caravel, at least in some places. A caravel can stay afloat in rough seas, but not for very long. Frigate? A frigate is an enormous ship. This type of vessel is necessary to explore when the seas are rough. Cannons? Caravels and frigates both have cannons, but frigates have a lot more of them. Or, pirates fear frigates. They try to stay out of range of their cannons. However, veteran frigate captains can outmaneuver them. Um... Afford? Eh, hey, you can't afford a ship? Well, how about a wagon? Advice? Stella inspects the map you received from Queen Isa. This map is very good, but you should know it just shows the central reason region. Windmar extends beyond the map's edges. A sextant would help you navigate if you leave sight of land, but they are hard to come by. Wow, so the map is actually bigger. That's crazy. The best sextants are made by pirates, but sextants of, sextants of all makes are in short supply right now. Pirates? In all the seas, I haven't heard anything about that. Supply? Um, thieves? Uh, children? Okay, goodbye. Hmm, so sextants are in short supply. What is this place called? Bayport Luxury Yachts, Proprietor Raymond. Okay, we're in the dock, so... Thief. You see a nimble woman resting her hands on two daggers at her belt. Name? I am known as Cutter. Job? I keep an eye on the docks. Docks? The Thieves' Guild runs a smuggling operation down here. I do what I can to discourage them. Thieves? I wish I could rid this town of their corrupt influence. I see your writ from Queen Isa. Perhaps we could join forces. Um, operation? They mainly operate at night. If you come down here, be prepared for a fight. They do not like prying eyes. Join? Your party looks pretty full already. Perhaps another time. Bye. Good hunting. Wow, another person. I kind of would rather a female over Blade, to be honest. Although Blade, he's only level 2. He has room to level up, but he starts with 20 decks. I'd be curious, like, yeah, he's got some pretty good skills right off the bat, pretty solid and everything, kind of. 20 melee, well, 8 range, 20 critical hit, 20 dodge parry, 20 lock picking. He's a dark elf. Um, I'll be back about that. We'll maybe get Cutter. Who do we got here? He's elusive. Move it! <laughs> oh, he won't let me. He was being purposely like that. No response. Oh, he's telling me to move it. <laughs> okay, so actually what we want to do is head to the nearest... Um, in, which I think this might be. No, Ugly Minotaur. I think we saw everybody here. I don't know, it's nighttime now though, so we're getting there. Child. Thank you so much for your help. Who are you sitting with, child? Human villager. You see a young man who seems depressed. Name? My name is Motto. Job? I used to manage the storeroom at the Bayport Eatery. Eatery? Used? I lost my job. Shop owner says she only hires loyalists now. No reformers welcome. She thinks the reformers are in league with the cult. Loyalists? A customer came in talking about how high Queen Isis' taxes are, and I agreed with him. How high the Queen's taxes are, and I agreed with him. 
Colt? I don't know much about the Colt, but the barkeep is always up on the latest rumors. Um. Customer? She threw him out and threw me out too. I really don't even understand what it's all about. I just want a job. Hmm. Um. Okay, goodbye. I don't know if maybe we can help him out, but did we talk to you about Colt? We'll buy a drink. Mug of ale. Colt. I might know something about that for five gold. Oh, yeah. Check with Irene at the pub. Okay. Let's go check these. Oh, these two were just... Gamblers. Lord Carrington's private privy. There's got to be some... Um, let's see if we can find it. One of those inns where we can drop off a party member. I'll go ahead and strip Blade down and drop him off. Was this it? It might be. Yep. Okay, so she can't help, but let's, um, whoops, uh, tab, tab, okay, let's go down to blade. Recurve bow, take that off. Um, okay, let's... Kind of little process here. Yes. Um, leave a companion. You have a closet for rent monthly at 50k. 50g. Do a checkout. Do you want it? Yes. Let's go ahead and put... Do we want to leave maybe Firenze? No, she's our highest range. Um, yeah, let's put Blade away. Put Blade in the closet. <laughs> that was easy enough. Now let's head back to the docks. Go pick up Cutter. What is that? What am I looking at? Anvil. Hmm. Hello, Cutter. Join me, girl. Let's go. All right, let's check out Cutter. Cutter is a dark elf. Level two, starts with the same dexterity. Copper dagger, same idea. Same gear. Same stats, um, but she's a female. Same stats right down to the bottom. Hmm. Well, I'd rather a female, honestly, so we'll go with her. Um, let's go ahead and give her the same treatment. Take off a dagger, put on a dirk, take off a dagger, take off a dirk. Let's go ahead and put on the plus one recurve bow. Strength too low. Oh. What? Why is her strength eight? She's level 2 and has 8 strength. Huh, she's a little different. A little different than, uh... Blade, she's got low strength. Or is she wearing different gear? Oh, right, we had to take off, like... The boots and the gloves, right. Uh, somehow, I, I still don't think it's the same. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, we did the same thing, and then we put cloth boots on. Yeah. Same deal. Okay. So, we'll leave, leave Cutter like that for now until she levels up. Let's go ahead and save. We haven't saved. And, man, once I'm playing this game, every time I play it, I just get the urge to play it forever. <laughs> more and more, because it's so dang good. 
I really enjoy this, guys. I hope you guys do, too. Um, we're in the docks district, and I'm going to go poking around. Looking for trainers and stuff. It's nighttime. This is the Cloak and Dagger pub. Um, did you have a person here last time? Merchant off duty, yeah. Dr. Cat. Green doors. Um, door unlocked. It's quick saving slot two for this. No key or pick that fits. <sighs> door unlocked. What are we looking at? Barrel. Wow, I've never searched a barrel in my life here. Nothing found. Nothing found. Hmm. Arctis, door unlocked. Oh, all that stuff to steal. Okay. Oh, a child? You see a teenage boy. Thank you for rescuing us, but don't worry about us. We can find our own way home. Oh, we rescued the children. They were in that... In that area. Oh, snap. So that's it for the children uh, quest. Let's ignite a torch. Why are they following us? You see... T They were locked in here. Huh. Um. How do I get out of here? There we go. Is he going now? He's sticking with me still. Man, my torch does not light up very much. Uh, maybe illuminate is something we should go ahead and uh, invest in instead of... Well, can we cast it? Ready it as slot zero. Um, Arctis can cast it. The Luminaire does not light up more. Oh, snap. Quick save slot two. We're being attacked by rogues. Uh, quick. Not sure that's a good idea. Oh, snap. We can handle some rogues. Victory. 40 XP, 20 gold. Nox is still so close to level up. Um, let's go up and see who that dude is up there. Whoever that is. We see a thief. Will you train us? See a woman weaving in and out of the shadows with incredible skill. Name? I am known as Nightblade. Job? I offer training and share tactics on how to dodge or parry incoming attacks. Nice. Tactics? Would you like to hear one, two, th or three? One? Rely on your ability to dodge or parry as a last resort. Let your fighters engage the enemy first. Two? To dodge or parry, you must be nimble. Wear light armor, no more than a total weight of eight. Oh my gosh. So that cloth stuff and st stuff is actually useful. Unbelievable. Three. Melee or range attacks can be dodged or parried, but not magical attacks. Dang, son. So honestly, the only one who we should really have parrying and eventually 
no more than a weight of eight. She'd have to go dang near naked if we're counting a weapon. But this is a whole different thing. We're going to go cut her. Six lessons for six gold each. We'll spend it. Um, is our Bridget and Fear always going to be ranged? We have like two tank types. Um, you know, I'm going to go with Arctis. Wow, 57 gold each for 24 lessons. Let's go ahead and get six lessons. He can still, we can still maybe get a little nimble with him, but we're way over 20 or 8 pounds. Fira, I think we'll make her forever a ranged character. A magic user. We don't have any more, well, we have some magic in Arctis and Bridget. Yeah, this is good. Cutter can't train anymore. Oh, be careful. That's awesome, but... Yeah, that makes cloth gear totally, completely viable. And that blows my mind. Like, all of a sudden cloth gear is viable again. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. That's like, yes, there's cool mechanics where... You know, you'll dodge more if you have lighter gear on. Very cool. 40 XP, 30 gold. Alright, let's keep exploring and look for hopefully another trainer. Maybe someone training melee or some other sort of blade. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we just... It must be foggy here. And this is the, the tavern. Let's see if the tavern members have changed. With it being night, I don't think so. No response. You see a sturdy looking man. You see a woman with a sword at her side. You see it. Is that a child here? You see a man drinking a glass of ale. Who's this guy again? Merchant off duty. And this is... Yeah, Docks and Warehouse District. Ah, uh, no. Maybe the other trainers come out at different times of the night. Oh yeah, we've been in here, right? Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. I thought that was me. You see a man dressed in all black. Name? I am known as the Clicker. Job? I for training and give tactics on picking locks. Ooh. Tactics? Would you like to hear one, two, or three? One. Not all locks can be picked. If your pick breaks, try again. If your pick does not fit, then the lock can't be picked. Two. Some locks are harder to pick than others. Three. Some tips are better than others. <laughs> train. Who will train? Um. Honestly, we'll probably have Cutter. Six less than six gold each. Well, she gets early training, but then I have to train to get more advanced training. 24 lessons at 57 apiece. We'll take another 6. Be careful. Okay, now wait a minute. You're different. Aren't you? You see a woman? No. Dodge. She's the Dodge trainer. Alright, let's take a look at Arctis, my character. Because um, he's got some upgrades. Uh, his melee is 47. His critical hit is 23. Dodge pair at 39. Lock picking 36. Very nice. 
Um, but let's go down and see. Uh, cutter. Critical hit 20. Okay, dodge parry 26. Lock picking 26. I want to get dodge parry too for um, Bridget. We might replace fear with blade. Oh, I'm fighting. Whoops. I moved into that slot. Nox might level up here. Finally, I would add. Nope. Leather gloves. Oh, maybe. 40 XP, 19 gold. Nope. So let's train Bridget, because Bridget is a, is a lifer with the party. 24 lessons at 57 each. We'll get her 6 lessons. So we're definitely spending a lot of money here. We're down to 443 gold. And still no critical hit trainer. Talk to the anvil. Um, search the anvil. Anything we can do to the tr to the anvil? Oh, we can anvil. <laughs> Pretend we're a... Uh... Wow, we can get into a boat. Hmm, it's over here. I want to, uh, quick save. This is freaking awesome, all this training. Oh, slot one. Open, um, Arctis. Again, with a bunch of stuff to sell. I mean, to buy, to buy, to steal. There's this guy who doesn't like to be bothered. It's easy, easy. Summon Fred found. Okay. That's interesting. In his nightstand. I don't think he's going to be happy about that. What's this? Some search the bed. Nothing found. Um, these are the ones we opened, right? Pick broke again, yes. Door unlocked. Ignited torch. This is the one the kids were in, right? Yeah. It's going on midnight. I think there should be a critical hit trainer somewhere around here. Search the well. Yeah, it's definitely foggy here, I would say. We can go try to take down the Thieves' Guild at some point. <clears throat> um, another barracks. Again, the tavern. Nothing new is happening there. Um... I don't know where the uh, critical hit trainer would be. I would think he would appear up here maybe at 2 a.m. or something. I forget what was in this one. Oh, just more stuff to steal. Let's see. 
Could search these barrels. Look for a sextant. No one's around. Haven't really done any thieving yet. Proper like. Dodge Perry. Um, let's see if I can somehow get through. No, I using a broadsword is going to put me over eight weight. I already have twenty six strength. I could end up using that plus one short sword we've been saving and five pounds of uh, of of light armor, cloth armor, leather boots, and a leather gloves, maybe, and get a bunch of evasion. I don't know. We'll think about it. Knox, when are you gonna level up, bro? I know XP has to go to a lot more party members now. You're five XP away. Cutter, um, and then there's lock picking. Um, I'm gonna get a little more dodge training. Uh, if anyone, I think probably Bridget would be the one to go further with it. Three lessons. Okay, we'll stop there until we get more money. <clears throat> so cool, guys. I mean, it, I think the dev is watching right now. So if you are, man, shout out to you and your team. This game is awesome. The more I play, the more I want to keep playing. Um, I'm always up sad when I have to turn the game off and edit a video. Oh, who are you? I saw you. Where'd you go? Huh. Came out around 2 o'clock. <clears throat> huh. Did you go down here somewhere? That was weird. We definitely saw that guy. But where did he go? Looks like he disappeared down the well. Get through here. There we go. Hmm. All right, I guess that's about it. Now we have to go fight a little bit, get that last level up, get some level ups for Cutter. This door was open, wasn't it? Or no? I don't see anybody in bed. Oh, wait. Yeah, merchants are sleeping here. They're in bed. Mer that merchant's off duty. He was going to bed. Okay. Alright. So that's about it in Bayport. I would think. No key or pick fits that lock. Everybody's sleeping. It's 4 a.m. Some people are going to be waking up, though. We got two new party members. Go back to the Margrave Quarter. Um... 
we f we did rescued the children. We met the Margrave. Let's check our quest journal again. Apprehend Bayport Guildmaster. Deliver a letter to Captain Axel in Bayport, right? We have to do that. Okay. So I know we're going a little long with this episode, most likely. Let's leave Bayport and see if we can't get into a, a battle out here to level up Nox Aetros. Ignite. Here we go. We've got Hobgoblins. Can quick them. <clears throat> Still not enough. 8 XP. Because it has to be split by 6 people now, so it's a little trickier. Noxious Elves. Dwarven Outlaws. Pretty easy fare. There it is. Coin of the Realm vibrating. 12 minutes. Alright. <clears throat> Strength. Um, how about... One strength, one dex, ten intelligence. Um, one strength, three dex, eight intelligence. Um, we'll accept that. Level 5 Elf. Copper Dagger, take it. Flabo, take it. 40 XP, 6 gold. Reason I want Dex and stuff is for him using his staff a little bit. Oops. Okay, we're getting into more combat. Hobgoblins. <clears throat> so hopefully, um, Cutter. Well, Cutter will go up in level pretty quickly. Um, oh, cultist. One of them novice. It says fierce, but cool. Throwing dagger, 22 XP, 22 gold. Maybe we'll head back to the Dwarven Mines next episode. Um, I'm definitely going to edit this video ASAP and make another one as soon as we can. Alright, daylight a bit. Now we're just exploring, just for the sake of exploring. Like, I don't want to stop, is the thing. We'll stop here. We'll get into this fight with three hobgoblins. I'll save and say thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. What a game. Um, just a very brilliant uh, classic type CRPG. 44 minutes, yeah, so thank you guys. Um... There will be more. This won't be the last episode of Nox a um, Archaist. So appreciate your guys' viewership. Much love, peace, and joy. Hope you're enjoying as much as I am, or maybe nearly as much. Okay, there's something there. We'll find out what it is next time. See you guys then. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.